exercise that you're going to be doing is pull your toe out, pull in a screaming important part of your foot without your toes, you wouldn't be able to balance, you wouldn't be able to walk, you wouldn't be able to run. It would really change the way that you interact with your environment. So although uh, sometimes forgotten, toes are so important to keep healthy. First exercise is a toe flexion and extension individual motion activation. So what you're gonna do is push your big toe down onto the ground and lift all of your other toes up. Then push all of your other toes down and lift your big toe up. I want you to try to switch back and forth between these two motions. This may be very difficult the first time you try it. This is not a motion that we tend to practice day to day, but just keep at it, keep trying with practice. You should be able to get this down like a master. Okay, second exercise I call toe spreaders. What I want you to do is spread your toes out as wide as you can and then slowly bring them back together. I like to lift my toes up and then kind of place them down one at a time until they're in that spread position. I think it makes it a little bit easier. So if that cue works for you, go for it, but do try to get about a centimeter in between each toe if you can. The modern shoe wear that most of us wear typically uh, really does kind of crush our toe into this pointed position. Uh, it can lead to bunions, to bunionettes, and a whole host of other foot issues. This exercise is great because it uh, counteracts that squished uh, position that our toes get into in modern footwear. All right, next exercise is arch lifts. I'll turn to the side so you can see. One thing that I see so frequently in clinic with my patients is pronation, which means falling inwards during walking and standing. So this exercise is intended to uh, reduce pronation. What you'll do is pick your arch up and put it back down. All right, so imagine as though there's a string attached to the middle of your arch that's pulling it up to the sky and then slowly going back down. What this is not is a toe scrunch, right? It's not about flexion of the toes. It's all about activity here in the arch. So keep the ball of your foot and your heel down on the ground as you pick it up and put it down. Once again, this may be challenging at first. It's not a motion that we practice that often, but uh, with practice and with patience, you absolutely should be able to get this one down. After doing several of these, you may find that the muscles on the bottom of your foot are kind of tight because this does activate them. So what we'll do next is a plantar rollout with a therapy ball. You'll place the ball down on the ground underneath your foot and roll back and forth. You can find areas of restriction and kind of dig into those areas. Now the ball that I am using is a therapy ball, not a lacrosse ball. A lacrosse ball is a little too hard for the bottom of the foot. Therapy balls are a little bit softer and they're really, really nice to work out that plantar fascia. Great for conditions like plantar fasciitis. The ball that I like is called Active Pro Zone. You can buy it on Amazon. I think it's like 10 or 12 dollars. So it's pretty affordable. And again, make sure that you're getting the therapy ball and not the lacrosse ball. Okay, final exercise. Remember we talked a little bit about how uh, pronation is very common. A reason that I see pronation quite frequently is limited big toe extension. When you're walking, if you cannot extend your big toe fully, your foot tends to compensate by rolling in so you don't have to extend the big toe as much, right? That can lead to ankle issues, knee issues, even hip issues up the chain. So it's very important that we address these um, deficiencies starting at the toe and moving all the way up. So I will show you an exercise for toe extension. I recommend taking a towel uh, just so that you don't have to put your knees on the hard ground. All right, towel underneath the knees. You'll come onto your hands and tuck your toes under. This may already be a very intense stretch for you, and if it is, you do not have to go any further. If this doesn't feel like much, you can slowly begin to walk your hands back towards your knees, maybe even walking your hands all the way up onto your hips for the full stretch. What I like to see in my patients is at least 60 degrees of big toe extension for proper gait mechanics, all right? So this one's very, very important. For all of these exercises, Sets and reps, as many as you can do with perfect form and no pain. For most people, that's gonna be about two to three sets of eight to 12 reps, nice and slow, not rushing through it. Try to get to these exercises one to two times a day, four to five times a week for fantastic toe and foot health, great mobility, and getting back to all the things that you like to do.